for centuries pilgrims have been arriving in and departing from Canterbury. Now, Harry Krishna monks and followers of the movement have set off from the city centre on a peace walk to Folkestone. Canterbury as a religious, spiritual town, as a holy place, is alive with spirituality. We're hoping to add a more 21st century angle to that as well. So together we're showing people that religion isn't divisive, religion isn't about arguing or fighting, religion is actually a unifying principle when it's practiced properly. It's the first time such a procession has been organised in Canterbury. The Walk for Peace, as it's known, aims to bring people together following recent terror attacks. And the event has the blessing of the Dean of the city's cathedral. We set people off on the road very often to cross Europe by all kinds of means, on bicycles, on foot. Uh, and at the same time, we receive people coming along the ancient pilgrim routes and they come to find this place a, a focus for their, their faith. But th this afternoon it was um, an interesting thing for uh, people of another faith to, to want the goodwill of this place as they walk for peace. The Hare Krishna movement is a branch of Hinduism dating back to the 15th century. This week its spiritual message has come to Kent. Well, the pilgrims are now well on their way to Folkestone after leaving here earlier, and they're expected to arrive in Folkestone in around five days' time, covering 40 miles. The pilgrims should arrive at their destination by the end of the week, giving East Kent a flavour of the Hare Krishna movement. Tom Savides, ITV News, Canterbury.